Okay, uh, so we're using salt corn once again, and just to give you an idea of where we're at, we are in the, where is it, the events uh, section right here. And basically, uh, just to give you a little bit of background about what I'm doing, I have uh, some products and I add them into a cart. So I'll just go over to the products tab here and go to the product view and I have this button here that basically just uh, will add it to your cart. So now it's in my cart. Um, actually, let me test that and make sure it's actually working. Products, SPL4, add to cart, add quantity of one to the cart, go back to the cart. Okay, so it did get added. So now that it's in the cart, I want to take everything that's in my cart and I want to uh, take that, uh, all the items that are in the cart basically. And there's a column that you can't see here that I want to change the status of all the items in my cart uh, from a cart item into an actual order item. So if you look at this, uh, let me look at my on orders here so we can see that our tables, we have this, and why is all this stuff so squished? Uh, sorry, I'm trying to make this quick, but I didn't plan any of this out. Okay, so we have the stage column here, and right now, um, everything is at a stage one, even the product that um, is not in this particular user's cart. Only these two items are in my user's cart. Anyways, so this stage is one, and I want to take those and convert them over to stage two, which is a, uh, basically it's saying, okay, these are no longer just in your cart. They've actually all already been. Uh, they've been ordered. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just basically create a button and that button is going to execute a function that's basically just going to be a purchase function that's going to move those over and the event that's fired, uh, let's go over to an event, it's the button press event and when that button press happens it's going to execute this uh, this run JS code. So I'm going to press the button and it's going to run this JS code. And I just wanted to give you an example of what that actually looks like. Um, let's come into here and I wanted to kind of explain what's going on here. So we're defining a variable. We're doing an await. I'm not sure how important that is, but I think it's kind of important. So we're calling the table object and we have a find one method on that table object and that table object it's going to say okay what table what's the name of the table that you are wanting to uh, to be using um, and then we're going to get all the rows from that table where the uh, user ID is equal to one this is actually supposed to be uh, user ID which is the currently logged in user okay um, and then we've got a console.log that's just for testing purposes. Okay, so basically this object now contains, uh, it's an, an object that is a list of all of the rows um, that are on the on orders table that are, um, that have a user key column that matches the current user uh, that's logged in. All right, so now that we've got this, this table object, we're gonna loop over it and we're basically gonna say, hey, for every object or every row that's in that, uh, that's in that table that matches up, uh, we're gonna say uh, the name on order and we're gonna try and update the, um, the stage to stage two. Um, on whatever row ID uh, is uh, in this list. So I just kind of wanted to walk through that because this part was kind of pretty confusing to me and I was having a hard time figuring out. Um, and then we're also going to be running this code on the server because that's where we do all of our database stuff. 
and then when we run like let's just say we run this as a test it's going to say hey everything worked and let's go to our database and you can see that right now the stage at is at um, five right now but if we run that query again it's now been changed to well, I guess I removed things from my cart so this looks a little different now but um, basically the user ID is one which is the current logged in user that I, I had we now moved both of those items so they were in my cart which is stage one but now they are on order which is stage two um, anyway, so I kind of wanted to try and sort of work through that and go through that just so it's a reminder for me about how to do this because some of it's a little bit confusing, but hopefully that's a good idea about um, about how this, this code kind of looks. And I'm going to try and put this code in the description. I'm going to copy that after this video is done. Anyways, 